How you doing? I'm Colonel Jack Fisher, a NASA astronaut. After high school, I went to the Air Force Academy, uh, four years there, and then went off to MIT. Uh, both places, I majored in astronautical engineering and astrodynamics. Uh, and then I went into the Air Force and started flying. I was blessed to have great teachers all along the way. Probably the most influential teacher I ever had was Professor Gil Moore. Uh, he was actually an intern for Werner von Braun, and we worked on some of the first uh, cadet uh, satellite programs at the Air Force Academy, and, and he was just, and still has been, a huge part of my life throughout everything. So I grew up in a construction family, and according to Dad, as soon as you could walk, you could work on the construction site. And so the first summer I worked, I was six, uh, I rolled cords and I swept and I got 50 cents an hour and I thought I was the richest man on the planet. Uh, and pretty much every spare minute until I went off into the Air Force graduating, uh, I worked for dad. So that was pretty much the only job I had, driving everything from tractors to trucks to trailers and, uh, and doing a lot of work, getting very dirty. So in the Air Force, uh, I was in a uh, fighter pilot. I grew up in F-15Es, uh, did some combat flying there, and then went into uh, test flying, uh, test pilot of all sorts of F-15 Eagles and then F-22 Raptors, uh, then did some, a little bit of time here in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, but I think every step along the way, I loved what I was doing. and. I always wanted to be an astronaut. If it worked out, that was great. If it didn't, then I loved what I was doing at the time. And I think that's important that you find your passion and you find what you love as your job and then you never work a day in your life. You know, I think uh, I talked to, to Peggy a lot. You know, when we were on the space station, she grew up a, a pig farmer and I grew up a, a ditch digger and uh, we learned the value of work ethic and just working hard. And I think that no matter what you do, you need to find your passion and then you need to work really hard at it. Uh, sometimes we get caught up in this, everybody gets a trophy thing and that's not the way real life is. Uh, you need to find a passion. You need to have, have a gift in it, but you're not gonna do anything unless you work really hard at it. The other thing that I think is really important is that on a construction site, you are all working to get the job done. So having a common goal as a team uh, is really important. And I think that you can accomplish more. You can accomplish amazing things that can really change humanity only if you work as a team. It's really important, no matter what your job is, uh, to be able to, uh, both in written and oral form, you need to be able to convey what you're thinking, what you're feeling, uh, what the team needs to do as a whole. Uh, it's really important. As an astronaut, it's particularly important because we're given this incredible gift from the U.S. taxpayer to get up into space and to experience things that most people can't even imagine. And if we can't convey that, we're kind of losing a huge source of inspiration for, for kids and, and, well, everybody. You, you fail and it's not important that you fail, it's important how you learn from it. And as Peggy always said, in a six month mission on the space station, you're gonna make mistakes. I certainly made mistakes. It's not if. It's how you react to those mistakes because it's a marathon. And once you've made that mistake, you need to learn from it, make sure that you pass along to everyone else so they don't make that same mistake, and then move on. And that's really what's important.